Hi and welcome back to Good Knit Kisses. I'm your host Kristen and today is a special edition. We are going to make a recipe that I grew up on. My mom made it for me all the time and surprise it is from her friend and I'll, uh, I'll put links below and uh, give all the credits due on there. I gotta ask her first. Haha. -ha. Anyway, uh, we are making filled chocolate cupcakes, and these are one of my favorites. It doesn't require any icing, but we're going to make some today anyway, and um, so stay tuned for that, and may have another episode on a secondary filling for another special occasion, but these filled cupcakes are the main basic recipe, and you're going to have the inside of the cupcake, which is called the filling, and then you have the main batter, and that's going to be the outside, and it's just like ooey gooey goodness. So I'm going to uh, film a lot of this uh, silent, and you can see what all the ingredients are going on. And you can see the pictures rolling right now, the ingredients you'll need. And the list of the uh, ingredients and recipe is down below in the description. Thanks for joining me at Good Knit Kisses, and happy cooking. we're going to start putting in the filling. We make that first. Preheat your oven to 350. Go ahead and put in your cream cheese. Got one egg. Beat that with a hand mixer. And get your salt, half a teaspoon. your sugar, a third a cup. And one cup of chocolate chips. Mmm. Semi-sweet. Semi-sweet.
We're filling up the cupcakes to halfway. We're using foil lined cupcakes and actually putting them on parchment paper on a cookie sheet. And they work out really well this way and you don't have to take them out of the muffin tin. Or you don't have to have a muffin tin. Or you don't have to have a muffin tin. How's that? You can still do this in a muffin tin, but they're much better when you put the cupcake liners in there. So we're now putting the filling in our battered cups. Use a small melon baller or a small teaspoon to fill the middle of these cupcakes up. Put your cupcakes in the oven for 20 minutes. is a fun episode. I have my mom with me, Alice Williams, and she's going to show us how to make buttercream icing. Okay, we're going to first start by opening the, a stick of butter. Real butter works better than margarine and tastes better too. And we're going to put it in the mixer. And then we're going to take a box of powdered sugar uh, I don't want to advertise for Imperial, but that seems to work and taste the best. Oreo icing by taking regular Oreos. This we're using double stuff today, but you can use regular ones. And I put about six Oreos in here because actually I'm kind of guessing on how many I'm going to use. And I'm going to press them out and mash them with a rolling pin. out really good one day when we had a baby shower and we wanted sock monkeys cupcakes. Okay. For the icing we use this Oreos to give it a speckly look like a sock monkey. You can use this in buttercream icing or in cream cheese icing. Cream cheese icing tastes really good. And basically all you need to do is add a package of eight ounces of cream cheese with the butter and the powdered sugar. And you usually don't even have to put any milk in there. All right, we're going to add a little bit of time to make sure that we don't have too much. So we're going to put some in here. And it's kind of sticks, so you have to scrape it up. And we're going to beat it up.
Okay, we're gonna make a cherry icing. And we're taking a stick of butter. This is basically buttercream icing. One box of powdered sugar. give it a real good flavor and we're just going to take the, the juice and pour in to the icing. You could also use grenadine. Depending on how much juice you have, you may have to add something to it, but I'm going to try to get all the juice out of here as I can. And since I'm low on my, uh, juice, I'm going to add some milk or half and half. This is half and half to make it a, the right consistency. This gives us a real pretty pink color. And if you've added too much juice, our milk, you can add more powdered sugar and it'll turn out just fine. Little girls love this color pink. Thanks again for tuning in to Good Knit Kisses for this special recipe of filled cupcakes. Happy baking! Hi, Mom. Hi. Thank you for your help filming. You're welcome. It's such a good recipe. We'll do icing in just a minute. Well, the hazard zone. Eat it, Mimi. <laughs> Shh, don't tell anyone. It happens. I'm gonna eat a cupcake. Sure, I have another cupcake. <gasps>